What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Gator and this video is presented by EA Sports Game Changers Program. So really what we're going to be just talking about here is going to be I want to cover stealing. So a lot of people might say, oh, okay, well, you know, anybody can steal, blah, 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 yeah, yada, yeah, yada. Yeah. But this is kind of sort of how I've gotten better at stealing right here. You can see me. This is just LUT and is overalls that are lower than usual. So it is easy. Uh, you can't reach and get away with it without getting any fouls or anything. But it's just a whole bunch of clips of me. You can see some of them back-to-back -back possessions after I score, after I steal. I go at it again. You see the green arrow. You see the yellow arrow. Those are key. But the one thing you should notice is that the more... If you see that little up green arrow on me and then on Curry, you see him have the red. That's just his his mood right there, right? Like his... It, he's so down right now because I keep stealing from him that it makes it easier and easier and easier and easier And this is kind of sort of key. I noticed by playing around with NBA live a lot right now you Just take advantage of this um, And not not like it's a broken thing But you know get one or two players of yours going good get one or two of their players going bad And you know those players are gonna struggle so you know if, if their best player on the squad Let's say you're playing LUT and the best player in the squad is a I don't know a whatever position point guard and a, you know it's the highest overall it, he has Seth Curry right so then um, you go ahead and go after him and then the rest of the team you just have to perform better so the cool thing about this is just that you just keep practicing so my tips for stealing right the reason why this is key is because it is going to help you with uh, it is going to help you with you know you know live the run uh, live just head-to-head -head online and then obviously ultimate team right so my suggestion what I did was after I played a couple of these luck games I said okay let me play against the computer just normal head-to-head -head, normal teams and let me just play you know the second second to last easiest difficulty and then um, let me go ahead and do that again um, you know once I got once I got acquainted and once I got a little bit better at things, um, I realized that I was able to do better and increase the difficulty. Just keep increasing it, keep increasing it, and you'll notice that you, once you get better and used to the window, the timing right here. Look, I didn't even have a green arrow. I just went ahead and I timed it perfectly. Um, it's just you you'll learn when you get contact, when the ball is bouncing up stuff like that you just naturally see those things and know when to press it as you see i'm not st spamming it boom right there i even got it with jj riddick right there low defense but again this gameplay is for a little bit easier setting so you know take that with a grain of salt but you know you're just gonna see that you know we have everybody going after you know the point guard right there boom pick this pocket easy so my suggestion to you is just practice it against the cpu for a while Practice it, practice it, practice it. The mechanics are the same regardless. Now, the difficulty does have a bigger window, right? So the easier the game, the bigger the steel window. So I noticed, you know, once I went up a level in difficulty, I would be like, ah, oh, all right, it's a little bit harder. So, but, you know, right there, you see red. Can't get nothing going on with J.D. Riddick. Right there, can't get nothing going on. Right here, see the bump? Boom, perfect timing. You saw the green arrow and the attempt for the steal. Those type of things. You, you just learn those type of things, right? So, Practice, practice, practice. I'm telling you, because it also, online, I notice it just infuriates people I'm playing against. Like, they get super mad. They get super, uh, like, they just start panicking. They get out of their comfort, right? So that's what you want to see. You want to see somebody getting out of their comfort because you are just playing so well against them, right? So um, that's basically it for me um, on stealing. You learn to be in front of the ball. Learn when to time, when, how to do this. And that's pretty much it, as you guys saw from all the clips. Take it easy, guys. Like, subscribe. Gator out.